Hi, thanks for joining. Today we are going to machine this nice adapter for the throttle body and we'll do a completely crazy unboxing of engine parts. This will be an adapter plate for the uh, throttle body, which should be sitting around here. This is 20 millimeter thick aluminium, and we are going to use our 5-axis CNC machine. Yeah, so I will remove this one, and um, then we can get started on this machine. This is an old fixture plate. Um, I like to use uh, when just build them, uh, building random stuff. After the probing, you can see that we do have all five uh, thread positions.
Yeah, here you can see a complete comparison between the uh, stock carburetor on the left and the new much, much bigger throttle body on the right directly attached to the supercharger. see how perfectly this is going to fit. Um, the fuel injector will be um, laser welded inside the intake manifold and this will be connected to the intercooler. Yeah, I already got the huge aluminum plate and um, this will be machined in the next episode to um, yeah, hold the uh, supercharger in place. Stop! Don't skip because I think it's worth to uh, look at all the parts uh, I received from NR Racing. I told you in the last video that I got supported from NR Racing USA and um, yeah, I got a complete package with nearly all kinds of parts needed for the monster truck engine. First of all, the engine back here is um, a 390cc um, Honda GX clone engine and um, it's going to get uh, the supercharger I, I showed you in the last episode and I think we are going to replace all parts except for one half of the crankcase and every other uh, part will be replaced. So this for example is the forged piston. I think I'm going to run um, about 9 to 9.5 to 1 compression ratio since the uh, engine is running on alcohol I don't need to go uh, too, too low with the compression um, ratio also um, I think the boost level will stay um, at a maximum of 20 psi this is nearly my favorite part it's a custom grind camshaft doesn't look very special right now but um, this is a custom uh, cam which was ground to my um, sp specifications and what I like is that it's nearly a complete clone of the uh, supercharger cam I run in my uh, own Corvette ZR1 so that means the lobe separation is uh, much wider than in the uh, naturally aspirated engine this is a nice detail billet valve cover. It has a, um, a bigger height so um, because I'm, I'm going to run um, aluminum roller rockers and uh, they need much more clearance to the valve cover. So this is the valve cover I'm going to, to run. You see it also has the NR Racing logo in there and um, I think I'm going to engrave uh, Tim Sane projects in, uh, in the valve cover as well. So very very nice piece. There's a complete gasket kit, of course. Um, oh yeah, this is the billet rod. It's a complete billet rod um, from 70, 75 uh, aluminum. So um, high strength alum aluminum. It has the, the bearings. This is a very special one. This is a completely balanced billet crankshaft so it's completely made out of one piece and it's a stroker crankshaft means um, it has uh, 0.2 inch or uh, about five millimeters more stroke um, creating a total of roughly 420 um, cc it even has the balancing uh, sheet attached to it so this is what I really like. By the way, this is for the drag chute I'm going to install on the wheelies, but this will be another episode. A lot of small stuff. You see chromoly push rods, um, special guide plate, stronger double um, valve springs. And we are going to replace the stock flywheel with this nice billet piece. It has the starter ring attached to it already. 
because I want to uh, run an electric starter again in this engine. Billet intake manifold. I'm going to open this up a little bit more. I only uh, I already take uh, took some measurements. Um, and uh, for my case, it's obvious that I need to open this a little bit more, but very, very nice. Check this out. This is a billet um, crankcase plate. So that means um, it features double roller bearings and an, uh, a special roller bearing for the camshaft. I like that it has these four um, threads on top which um, makes it very easy to guide the oil back from my oil cooler which which will be installed so it will be very easy to attach the oil lines here and uh, let the oil run back into the crankcase yeah very very nice stiff piece yeah and finally this is the cylinder head it's still uh, nearly in stock shape i already ported uh, the intake a little bit but uh, not major and I just wanted to see um, which kind of shape um, the intake port will get. These are racing valves. Uh, we, we normally install in, in normal um, automotive uh, cylinder heads. I'm still not sure which kind of valve sizing I'm going to install. Um, it will be at least 40 millimeters on the intake side and 33 on the exhaust side. But um, yeah, this depends a little bit. I'm going to make some calculations regarding the duration of the camshaft, um, valve lift, etc. So this is, has all um, an influence on the valve um, sizing. And I nearly forgot to show you these bad boys. I showed you some monster truck tires, um, I think in the last episode or the episode before. I changed my mind because um, yeah, I stumbled across these um, tires and they are perfect in my eyes they they are so perfect and look exactly like real monster truck tires yeah once i came across um, these i completely fell in love so they look so much like a real monster truck tire so the, the uh, tread, everything is so nice. Yeah, let me, let me show you um, this tire compared to the wheelies. And uh, yeah, you see how uh, insane this is going to be. I can't wait to see them spinning in the mud. And <laughs> you see how much bigger they are. So that monster truck will crush about everything. I couldn't resist and needed to see how this would look like. Uh, remember the new body, the Gravedigger body, um, will be a lot bigger than the Willys. So I think it's, it's going to uh, be so crazy. Yeah, and if you thought the Willys is great, yeah, just imagine how uh, this uh, Gravedigger will turn out. Hopefully it's, it's really getting uh, 60, 70, 70 or even more horsepower, uh, radio controlled. Um, I think this is really di the definition of insanity. And again, a huge thanks to Tim from NR Racing. Uh, without him and his support, all this would not be possible. So um, if you're looking for um, Honda GX parts, check his website out. Um, he has all kinds of engine parts, uh, doesn't matter what kind of, of project you're building with the Honda GX engines, um, he gets you covered. Yeah, as usual, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a thumbs up. This helps me really a lot grow, uh, to grow this channel. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to build this huge monster truck and um, yeah, will be happy uh, to share everything with you in the future. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.